Marguerite Suda was born in Cattolica Ericli, Sicily, Italy, in 1924, and immigrated to Montreal in 1954 with his wife, son and daughter. He married into the mob through his wife Libertina Mano's family, beginning as an associate in the Sicilian faction of the Calabrian Catroni crime family, which had most of the control in Montreal. In the late 1970s, a mob war broke out between the Sicilian and Calabrian factions, which resulted in the deaths of Paolo Vili, the acting capo of the Catroni family, and his brothers. Although Ritsuto was not charged with any of these murders, he was linked to them as the events allowed the Ritsuto family to emerge as the preeminent crime family in Montreal by the early 1980s. Ritsuto was incarcerated twice, once in 1988 on drug charges where he served five years in a Venezuelan prison, and the other in 2006 where he served two years in jail of a tax evasion charge. His son Vito later followed him into the mob, and in 2007 was found guilty of conspiracy to commit murder as well as racketeering, serving a prison sentence until 2012. During this time, a power struggle within the Ritsuto family ensued, his grandson Nicolò Jr. was killed in 2009, followed by Ritsuto himself by a sniper rifle while in his home on November 10, 2010. Nicolò Ritsuto was born in Cattolica Ericli, in the province of Agrigento, Sicily, Italy, on February 18, 1924. In January 1925, his father Vito Ritsuto Sr. illegally immigrated to the United States with his brother-in-law Calogero Renda, while Vito's wife Maria Renda stayed with Nicola in Sicily. On August 12, 1933, Vito was murdered in Patterson, New York, forcing Nicola to grow up with a stepfather after his mother remarried to Liborio Miliotto. On March 20, 1945, Ritsuto married Libertina Mano, the daughter of Antonio Mano, a local mafia leader in their hometown. On February 21, 1946, he would father a son, Vito, who would later follow him into the mob. On February 21, 1954, along with his wife, son and daughter, Ritsuto immigrated to Canada by ship and docked at Pier 21 in Halifax, Nova Scotia, before moving on to Montreal, Quebec. He was soon able to form his own crew with help from several other Sicilian relatives and associates living in Montreal. Antonio Mano would later immigrate to Montreal as well in September 1964. Ritsuto had ties to organized crime in Canada, the United States, Venezuela, and Italy. He began his mafia career in Canada as an associate of the Catroni crime family, which controlled much of Montreal's drug trade in the 1970s while answering to the Bonanno crime family of New York City. He was, however, more closely linked to the mafia in the old country, in particular the Contrera Caruana Mafia clan, who came from the same region in Sicily as Ritsuto. Ritsuto had two grandsons by his son Vito and his wife Giovanna Camilleri, Leonardo Ritsuto and Nicola Nick Ritsuto Jr., and a granddaughter, Maria Ritsuto. On December 28, 2009, Nick Ritsuto Jr. was shot and killed near his car in Notre Dame de Grasse, a borough in Montreal. Paolo Renda, Nicola's son-in-law, disappeared on May 20, 2010, and is presumed to have been kidnapped. On December 23, 2013, Vito died from complications of lung cancer at a Montreal hospital, after he had been released on October 5, 2012, after serving over five years in prison for murder and racketeering charges. In the 1970s, Ritsuto was an underling in the Sicilian faction, led by Luigi Greco until his death in 1972 of the Calabrian Catroni family. As tension then grew into a power struggle between the Calabrian and Sicilian factions of the family, a mob war began in 1973. Catroni Capodesina Paolo Vili complained about the independent modus operandi of his Sicilian underlings, Ritsuto in particular, he is going from one side to the other, here and there, and he says nothing to nobody, he is doing business and nobody knows anything. Vili asked for more soldiers from his Bonanno bosses, clearly preparing for war, and Vili's boss at the time, Vic Catroni remarked, me, I'm Capodesina. I got the right to expel. In 1977, Ritsuto and Vili met face-to-face -face in the home of a Montreal resident for a last-ditch effort to resolve their differences, according to a police report. The peace talks failed, and most of the Ritsuto family fled to Venezuela. This led to a violent mafia war in Montreal which resulted in the deaths of Vili and his brothers, along with others, spanning the mid-1970s to the early 1980s until the war ceased. Although Ritsuto was in Venezuela at the time, he was linked to the 1978 murder of Paolo Vili, a Bonanno soldier who had been named acting boss of the Catroni family. Domenico Mano, Antonio Mano's son, was also instrumental in Vili's murder. Mano received a seven-year sentence after pleading guilty to conspiring to kill Vili, as well as Ritsuto confidant Agostino Contrera, who received a five-year sentence in relation to Vili's murder. 
By the mid-1980s, the REIT pseudo-crime family emerged as Montreal's preeminent crime family after the turf war. Nicola Ritsudo was arrested in Venezuela on August 2, 1988, after investigators found 700 grams of cocaine at Ritsudo's residence. Ritsudo was sentenced to eight years in a Venezuelan prison, but was paroled after five years, in 1993, after an associate of the family delivered an $800,000 bribe to Venezuelan officials. Ritsudo's lawyer said it was due to his health condition. On May 23, 1993, Ritsudo landed back in Montreal. On November 22, 2006, Ritsudo was arrested by the Royal Canadian Mounted Police in a police raid, along with Paolo Renda, Rocco Solicito, Francesco Arcati, Lorenzo Giordano, Francesco Del Balso and dozens others, following a four-year investigation named Project Colise. On September 18, 2008, Ritsudo pleaded guilty to possession of proceeds of a crime for the benefit of, the direction of, or in association with a criminal organization. On October 16, 2008, Ritsudo was released from prison after serving two years of a suggested four-year sentence, as prosecutors could not directly implicate Ritsudo in crimes exposed by investigators. On February 11, 2010, Ritsudo entered a guilty plea for two counts of tax evasion charges, which stemmed from a Canada Revenue Agency investigation for the tax years of 1994 and 1995. Ritsudo was accused of hiding $5.2 million deposited in Swiss bank accounts and failing to report $728,000 in interest income. Ritsudo was ordered to pay a $209,000 fine. On November 10, 2010, Ritsudo was killed at his residence in the Cartierville borough of Montreal when a single bullet from a sniper's rifle punched through double-pane glass of the rear patio doors of his mansion. He was 86. His death is believed to be the final blow against the Ritsudo crime family. Ritsudo's funeral was held at the Church of the Madonna della Difesa in Montreal's Little Italy on November 15, attended by around 800 people. He was buried at San Francois d'Assise Cemetery in San Leonard, Quebec in a private ceremony. On July 12, 2013, Salvatore Calaudi, a Toronto criminal figure, suspected by police of being the assassin who shot Ritsudo, was shot dead.